Well, as you know, we got some parts, so let's get to her. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. We power washed the deck. We power washed the mower. We power washed the lid. We did an oil change. I showed you the filter. Fuel filter, that is. So that's done because that's stuff you didn't need to see. We'll do the air filter together, which is right there, which I showed you. Let's get this bearing thing back together. First of all, somehow. A little, little concern about this, actually. I had to file the keyway a little bit just because I put some burrs on it and damn near cocked it over. So you wanna make sure, you know, that slides through there without an issue. And there you go, see, right through, Jim. So that was good. So we got that cleaned up. What else we clean up? We clean up this ring. We cleaned up this guy. We're gonna put the bearing in the bottom part first because I got the other part in the freezer so it gets cold and it shrinks. So hopefully it'll slide through here a little easier. Let's get this bearing in here because that bearing can go in. Right now, I think. Hold on, I'm thinking. So, yeah, no, no. This bearing's gonna go in. My bind just went for an issue here, Jim. Yeah, because the other bearing goes onto the shaft, which goes up. This bearing can go in right now. Now, what I'm gonna use for this bearing is I'm gonna use one of the old bearings to whack on it. That way I don't wreck the new bearing. And then we'll just tap it in. Now, I know a lot of these are gonna say that's not how you do it, but hey, it is what it is. I like to put a little bit of oil around it just to help it slide a little bit easier, you know what I mean? So you don't get things too cocked over. So once you get it lined up there, you just take your hammer and you just give it a tap. It's going in real nice, actually. So now we put that back on and tap her some more. Oh, don't go too far, Jim. There we go. So that's in. So there's one bearing in. So now we can flip that over. We gotta remember to put this shaft in with the other thing. And we'll go get the other shaft because it's in there, like I said, it's in the freezer. So this has been in the freezer for about two hours or so. So I'm hoping that this bearing right here, oh dear, I gotta put this in first. So we gotta put that in and then we gotta put this bearing in first because we gotta put the ring in, Jim. Oh man, let me go put this back in the freezer. Sorry about that. I got that out prematurely because I got thinking after, I gotta put this string back in. And if I put the bearing on the shaft, then the string ain't gonna fit, Jim. So we gotta put the bearing in first. So we get that lubed up like that and we'll get it started. That was probably easier to do it that way, just so you know. We'll put that old one on there and we'll tap it in. Oh, don't go too far. Oh, dick. Trying to put the old one back in with it, we were. Let's get that out of there with some vice grips. There we go. Good to tap her down just a little bit more. Make sure you're on the actual edge of the bearing, not on the actual bearing. Make sure that's lined up. And then we'll put this little stop ring back in, which should go in pretty easy because it's near the surface. So we'll grab our screwdriver here and we'll just start feeding it to it. Aw, oh, dick. These things aren't the funnest to put in, I'll tell you that right now. They're kind of a dick, actually. Oh, just so you know, I don't know if you know that already, but I did put the other ring already in yesterday, so I didn't forget it. It's already in there. I don't think I did that on the video for you, so that's my fault. Are you watching this? Probably not. There you go. So now that that ring's in, that's, the bearings are in there. Should fill that up with grease. Let's do that, because I almost forgot. But I can still see in there so we can pump her full. So get this thing in here, the grease gunnage. Make sure there's no dirt on it. Now you should fill this up before you put the bearings both on, but I didn't. So we'll get this in here, and we'll just start pumping her in, Jim. You wanna fill up between the bearings, that way it keeps you lubed. I don't know if it's going in or not, I couldn't tell you. I'm hoping it is, that's all I can say. What do we got here? Oh boy, we're full. Hopefully he's not coming out the other end. No, we got her in, see? She's in. So now we can slide that thing back in the right way, and now we can go get the shaft, and hopefully she'll jam right in there. Now we wanna jam it through this way. Yeah, because this is the bottom. So like I said, this thing froze right up, so it should go right in, but we're gonna find out, because I've been wrong before. Normally when you cool something down, you shrink the hell out of it. Yeah, she's gonna be tight no matter what, so we'll just have to tap her in. But she was tight coming out too. I'm probably gonna knock the other bearing out. Oh, that feels nice though. She's going through no problem, to be honest with you. I'm not hitting her as hard as you think I am. See, it's bringing the grease through it, so she's coming. She just popped the other bearing out though, but that's okay, we can knock that one back on. Where are we here? Oh, that feels nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go, so that's down. So now we're just gonna flip it over and we're gonna get that bearing back in. We're gonna set this on here so we don't knock the other end back out. And now we'll take something on there. Stop us from cocking over that friggin' bearing. One that will go over that shit. Oh, there it is right there. We just gotta get that out of there. 
All right, so this should go right over that. Oh yeah. And now we're actually on the ring. I think I'm going to cock right there. Yep, I'm going to cock. So we can't go any further. So now I'm going to have to tap with this one. But we'll just offset it. There we go. Oh, boys. Girls, peoples. Feel that thing. That's how we friggin' roll. The sleeve will go on like that. We can probably put the keyway back in, which is this guy. So we'll tap it back in. Let's tap it in with a hammer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the key right here, and then we'll tap that in with a hammer. Like that. We'll take the pulley. We might as well put it on too. There it is. You need to worry. No, I can put the pulley on right now. Freaking right we can. We'll put the bolt back on. We'll give it a... There you go. And that's how you redo your bearing for your lawnmower doodad. Okay, so now that we got that done, we can actually bring this bad boy back over here. And we can uh, set her in the hole where she's supposed to be. There we go. Scared me for a second there. Thought maybe that uh, we might have to take that pulley back off. So we'll turn this the way it's supposed to be, and we'll throw these bolts back in. Now these are new bolts. I should have a little bit longer ones in there, but that's all I got. So it's gonna have to friggin' work. There we go. So they're in the hole. So now I got to uh, lift the deck up. Now I should put the spring back in too, and that will hold that pulley where it needs to be. Two thing with Barbara over here that holds the pulley in. I almost think I was a John Deere specialist or something. So we'll grab a hold of this with a doodads and we'll hook her on. There you go, Captain. Oh yeah, playing a guitar we were. So that's all there is to that. So that will hold that together until we flip her up. Okay, so while you're right there, I'll get you to hang on to that thing for me if you don't mind. Thanks, appreciate it. Because it fell over and all my bolts fell out. But it is what it is, so you just stay right there for a minute. You need a nut. Where's all my nuts gone? Looking like I might be able to put a washer on that freaking stud, and that's what I really want to do. I'm putting stainless back in, just so you know, because stainless is really the only way to go. Oh, Jesus. I'll tell you one thing. Come on this side. I can't quite get my finger in that hole. You watching for it? There it is. Decent. That ring right there is kind of working like a big freaking washer anyways, if you want to know the truth. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me. And if you don't, then don't leave a comment down below. That's all I can tell you. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification too because this is some pretty technical stuff going on right now. Oh, 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 we got her. Holy, I got her with a one finger bandit. Hopefully she don't fall back out. All right, so there we go, that's in. So now we'll just lean this up over here somewhere, right here, and we'll get the right size wrenches for this deal. Uh, uh, careful. So it is half inch. Yeah, mm, half inch I said. We're in a front house from my half inches. Can't find your half inch, probably 13 mils the same. Sure is. So just, you know, go with the 13 mil. Slide this back over towards you there. Slap the 13 mil on the head of that bolt right there. Slap a ratchet on here and just shake her in. And there's three. We'll take this wiggly wobbly extension off there so we can actually get a little bit of pressure on it. There we go. I don't want to give her too much. I have been known to break these studs off. The torque meter doesn't work too good. Leave a comment down below if you have that kind of torque meter. Odd oh, dick boys. Blade bearing doodad thingamabobber back in and ready to rock. So let's get this lawnmower in here and we'll do a real quick an air filter thing change and you can see how that's done. So as I told you there, I gave her the old power wash and I filled these tires up yesterday. You know, gave them a little bit of air. But this one went flat again and I like couldn't figure out why, but then I got looking at it and I forgot that I put a tube in there. So I actually filled this one, I was supposed to fill that one. So I kind of helped that out. That kind of stuff happened. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change this air filter right here. And if you take this bolt off, it should come right apart. <laughs> there you go, see? And uh, that thing could probably go right in there. Now that we have that all blown out and I have my new filter out, I got the new dust cover, which, you know, just stops it from getting covered in. These things get pretty dusty, they do. So we'll get this in there, how it's supposed to go, and then we'll uh, slap her on in. We'll put this back on here. She's nice and snug. And then we'll put the little wing nut thing I'm about her back on. And there we go. So now that that's done, we're gonna maybe take a minute here and we'll slide the deck back under, get it hooked back up, See if we can't adjust it, and then it's ready to go, except for the blade of Ruski there. That looks good, doesn't it? Tell me the truth now. Ooh, thank you. Well, how the heck did I get that out before? Ah, stop happening. Baby, how's it going over here? What are you hooked on? 
Oh, dick. Ow! So we'll slide this up here like this. Ooh, eh? We'll drop this sucker down. Oh, which is really spring loaded. And then we'll hang her up there like that. Ow! Careful. What's really going on? Holy. What the hell? Oh, I get you. It goes through, but the pin goes between the swingy army. There we go. So when you put this pin in, it goes through, but that thing rides on each side of this instead of, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Stay in there for a minute. How's it going? So we'll put this one in, baby. Holy, full cock. Oh my God. I think I gotta lift her up. Oh, pretty sure it's because I have the thing jacked up 20 feet in the air. We'll probably get somewhere here if we put her on the ground. Sure am, look at that. There we go, so that's in. Put the clip through it, there we go. Now we just gotta hook this thing back on. Oh. Why is everything trying to take my arm off today? Inquiring minds wanna know. There we go. So we'll get this pin on before it kills us. There we go, and then we'll get this last one on, which is the engagement. So we need a washer, and then we need a washer, and do that. Okay, this is outside deck. So if I lever this, hey, there we go. Now we can reach her. Slide that in, and there we go. Decent. Now we can get the new belt and slap it in. So the first thing we gotta do, put it in the back pulley because I did this before and I put it in the front pulley and I think I couldn't get it in the back pulley. Which is right here somewhere. Okay, so that's good. So now what we need to do is figure out this one. So if we go around here, I am on the right pulley, right? Why is that so tight? Oh, there we go. Oh, so it's engaged right now. Yeah, let's unengage it. Oh, there we go. Oh, see what I did? Can you see what I did wrong here? I gotta pull this pin back out because it's gotta go on the other side of that, this thing. All right, there we go, something's happening. There we go, okay, put this back up. There we go, zoom in back in. There we go, now this goes on here, this goes around here. Ooh, hey. So that goes like that. Basically, it goes on the outside of that, around this tensioner pulley, around that pulley, and back to the back one. You understand? Probably not, because I don't. And then this goes back on here, like so, and it just kind of helps to hold the belt from coming off when there's no tension on her. There we go, right about there. So that's on, the belt's done. So now that the belt's done, we gotta do a little adjustment on the old carrier gate here. We want the carrier gate to be level at a certain height. So right about there looks level. So I'm pretty sure that when I set this up the first time, I kind of clocked it over. So if you look right there, it don't look too fucking bad. And that is all the way down. That's as far as she goes. So we got about that much over there and we got about that much over there. So we're pretty good that way. So if we go to a number eight, we're high. Number one, we're low. So actually, if I go all the way down, she's riding the boat there. So let's try a pin there and we'll see what happens, which is only one hole up than what I was. So I'll stick that in there. And I'll do them the same on the other side. That way when I go down, she's gonna be mint. We're getting there now. So now let's fire up and make sure everything turns and, and burns. Oh, careful. can tell you is we've got ourselves a working machine yeah we freaking did so there you go that's all there is to do a little bit of maintenance on your deck we get that that's all that's left which is good that's for the blade when we get her in but other than that she's back together so this is part two of the old john deere deck rebuild so hopefully you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification if you did Leave me any comments down below if you think i did something that's been dicked over or not right i pay attention sometimes love you all have a good day, and you know what to do for now.